If your Bamboo Lab P1S has started squeaking, skipping layers, or it's just acting up, it might not be broken. It probably needs just a little TLC. Neglecting maintenance could cost you hours in failed prints or maybe even parts. But don't worry, today I'm giving you the exact routine the pros use to keep their P1S running like a dream. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are running a Bamboo Lab P1S or the P1P, you probably already know how powerful these machines are. But even the best printers need some love to keep performing at their best. Today, I'm walking you through the official periodic maintenance guide, step by step, straight from Bamboo Lab's documentation. No guesswork, no skipped steps, just exactly what you need to clean, lube, and protect your P1S for the long haul. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Step one, safety first. First things first, always power off and unplug your printer before you do any maintenance. Let's keep this safe and smart. But before we get our hands dirty, let's take a moment to hear about the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. Looking for more than just PCBs? PCBWay has been trusted by makers and engineers for over 11 years. Offering high quality PCB fabrication, 3D printing, CNC machining, and sheet metal fabrication, all in one place. Whether you're prototyping or ready for full scale production, their rapid manufacturing services bring your ideas to life fast. And don't forget to explore their huge project library at pcbway.com project packed with thousands of open source bills to inspire your next creation. PCB way, PCB prototype the easy way. Step two, monthly cleaning, X-axis carbon rods. Once a month, wipe down the X-axis carbon rods. Use a lint-free cloth with a little isopropyl alcohol. Gently wipe, don't scrub, and never apply grease to these rods. Grease will actually make things worse here by trapping dust. Step three, monthly, Y and Z linear rods and bearings. Now for the Y and Z axis linear rods and bearings, clean these monthly or more often if you're printing with materials like ABS or ASA. Wipe them with isopropyl alcohol just like before. Once they're clean, apply a thin coat of lubricant or oil to protect them. Also, don't forget, apply an anti-rust lube every three months. I'm using Super Lube Synthetic Oil and this small applicator bottle. Links are included in the video description. Step four, every three months, Z-axis lead screws. Every three months, clean and grease the Z-axis lead screws. That's the trio that lifts your build plate. Cleaning is the tricky part. There are all sorts of ways to do this, but by far the easiest is to use this DuPont Moto Floss. Simply loop it around the rod a couple of times and then gently pull it up and down the lead screw. You'll have those screws sparkling clean in no time. To reapply grease, start with the bed in the home position. Apply a thin coat of grease, then slowly lower the bed so that the grease spreads evenly. I'd recommend doing this a couple of times. Wipe off any excess near the nuts. Bamboo Lab recommends BX300 slash F series grease, but you can also use Super Lube 92003 or Lucas white lithium grease, which is what I'm using here. I've also printed a useful tip that makes the application even easier. Step five, idler pulley upkeep under special conditions. Let's talk about the XY idler pulleys. These have sealed bearings, so you don't need to grease them. But to avoid squeaking, it helps to add a drop of lubricating oil between the idler flange and the plastic holder. Do not apply grease to the belts. That can cause belt slip or even layer shifts during printing. Again, for this task, I'm using Super Lube Synthetic Oil and the needle applicator bottle for precise control. Step six, cleaning the part cooling fans. There are three key fans in your P1S. 
the hot end fan, the front cover fan, and the auxiliary fan. Check them every week for dust or debris buildup. To clean them, power off the printer and use compressed air. Instead of disposable cans of compressed air, I'll be using my DataVac dust blower. I've linked this product and another alternative in the video description. Now this is very important. Hold the blades in place so that they don't spin, then carefully blow air across the fan to remove buildup. Keeping your fans clean means better cooling and a longer lifespan. Step seven, nozzle cleaning and care. Next is nozzle maintenance. If your nozzle looks dirty or you're getting under extrusion, especially after using carbon fiber filaments, it's time for a cleanup. Here's how to do it. Remove the extruder front cover. Remove the hot end silicone sock. Heat the nozzle to 200 degrees Celsius. Wearing heat resistant gloves, clean the nozzle surface using a cloth or tweezers. I typically use a brass bristle brush. Brass is softer than steel, so it shouldn't damage the nozzle. Be gentle and be sure to avoid any wires if you choose to use a metal brush like this. Step eight, check your PTFE tubes. The P1S uses PTFE tubes to guide filament from the AMS to the extruder. These are durable, but not invincible. When using abrasive filaments like carbon fiber or glow in the dark, check the tubes after every five rolls. For regular filaments, check them after 10 rolls. Look for wear or damage on the inside and replace them if needed. Worn tubes can cause friction, clogs, or even grinding. If you need to replace any of the tubing, I've included a link in the video description. Now, let's do a quick recap. Every month, clean X-axis carbon rods. Clean and lubricate Y and Z linear rods. Every three months, grease Z-axis lead screws and apply anti-rust lubricant. Weekly or as needed, add oil to the idler pulleys if they're squeaking. Clean all three part cooling fans. Clean the nozzle at 200 degrees Celsius and inspect those PTFE tubes after heavy use. These small steps go a long way in preventing clogs, skips, and even mechanical failure. And that's your official maintenance walkthrough for the Bamboo Lab P1S. Stick to this routine and your printer will reward you with smooth, high quality prints for years to come. If this video has helped you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printing tips. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new content. Have a question or want to request another tutorial? Drop it in the comments below. Or maybe if I didn't go into just enough detail for you, maybe I can make a short out of it. Thanks for watching and happy printing. As always, I enjoy the time that we get to spend together here on the channel. Let's keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.